What up, YouTube? It's your girl, Imani. It is a little bit after 2 in the morning. <sighs> Today is June the 10th. And, um, I'm sitting here watching a vlog by one of my favorite YouTubers. And, um, these past few days has been crazy. My sleeping arrangements are not on fleek. And it's like press light if y'all stay up late like this. If you wonder why you can't see me, it's because I have my bedroom lights off. And you know how that go. I can watch this and do it so simple. Um, my sleeping arrangements are not on fleek. Like, I stay. Um, when I get home from class, I take a nap. And then my nap is usually longer than usual. Because I don't have anything to do. And that leads me to be up all night. You know, on social media and stuff. Um, the schedule for today. I'm not going to class today. Because. I'm still mind relaxing. Um. If you don't know what mind relax. Mind relaxing means. It means. It's like fasting. It's like you're going to take a couple of days to yourself. And you just. Um, try to relax, basically. And I think people that have my condition, I think if you have a sleeping condition or if you have a, or if you're bipolar, I think you need to try this. You know, I'm not making fun. Try it. You know, take a few days, if you, if possible, at your schedule, and just don't do anything. And I have not been doing anything, so. Um, that's why you haven't seen anything really new other than the Snapchat stories. Um, anyway, um, I don't have nothing really planned today. Now, now te usually, technically, I would be, probably be up like this, you know. And, like, and, and be up in like five hours and I will have my clothes ready for class and just go to class and then you know come home whatever now because I'm not going to class I'm not going to class for a few days um, and my teacher knows it's a personal reason don't really feel like going to do it going to explain y'all explain to y'all you know so um, what I got planned for today is to wash clothes. And after I wash my clothes, of course, I'm going to be loud. I'm going to be loud until I can't be loud no more. <laughs> and um, I probably will edit the videos that I have on my cameras at this point. And um, probably have them on YouTube probably Friday ish Friday ish Thursday ish Thursday Friday ish <sighs> um that's what I got planned today tomorrow um my mother has a job interview and um I'm happy for her because it's been a while since I mean even though technically my mother is working right now technically technically my mother is working even though she's working, she always, if you know my mother, if you actually know my mother, you know my mother's a hustler. And you know my mother does not stay at one place for long. If she can find something better, you know she's on it. So she has a uh, job interview Thursday at the hospital, you know. Um, if she gets that job, oh, she's going to probably definitely be set because everybody knows when you work at the hospital, you know, you get paid. That's where that cash is at. You know, for CNA, 
RNs, you know, people working in the hospital. Like, think about it, you know. They discount, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, but no, I'm not using her for that. But I'm happy that she finally um, is getting on her feet. Now, as far as I am concerned, I have been looking for a job since last September. No, I've been looking for a job since September of 2014. Um, I ain't going to say this is the worstest year yet. But, um, it's funny that they change a lot of the stuff around. Because back in them days, you know, the employers really didn't care about people having certifications and, 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 and documents. Now you got to have, in order to work in these places that you want to work in your credit got to be on point you can't really have nothing on your uh, criminal background even if you do have anything on your um, criminal background it can't be nothing to major um it's, it's, it's crazy right now I have been applying to jobs uh, I've been declined over at uh Snow Hill I got declined at Chicken Filet um, the rest of the jobs that I applied for, I have not heard anything back. Um, I could call them, but I feel like if I call them, you know, they're going to probably say, you know, like, we don't want this person working here. So, it's been kind of hard, but, uh, yeah, um, what I do today? I woke up. I took Gucci for a walk. Did I? Or did I? I don't know. I think I did. I think I believed I did took Gucci for a walk. Um, checked the mailbox. I think I, I think I was the one that checked the mailbox. Um, I ate. Uh, what I ate? Oh, pizza that I found. Um, I found, I remember ordering some pizza. And I thought all my pizza was gone. And luckily, I looked in the box and I found two slices in there. So, I had pizza for lunch and pizza for dinner. Um, had cereal for snack. I had Rice Krispies, Frosted, frosted Rice Krispies, and Cheerios. So, um, nothing really, nothing really major had happened out here. Um... My mother had a birthday party. And shout out to the people that went. If you didn't go, um, I can't speak on my mom's behalf because I don't know if she's upset that y'all didn't go. But it didn't turn out like the way we wanted to. Because number one, we was running late. Number one, um, we was running late. And the reason why uh, she was running late was because she wanted to wait on me. And I was getting my hair done. It was just basically from the, from it, it wasn't right, you know. The mood wasn't right this uh that morning. Uh, arguments had happened that morning, and people got disrespected the wrong way, and people got disrespected, and people got fussed out, and you know, people said things to people that they didn't like, and then um. Everything cooled down. And then by the time the afternoon came around, I guess you, I guess you could say we made up. I guess you could say uh, me and the other person made up um, because the person wanted me to go to the party. Um, she thought I would have been done by seven thirty. She thought I was gonna be done, you know, ready to go by seven thirty. And um, unfortunately, I got finished after eight. And, uh, so by the time I got home, it was like, by the time I got home, uh, two of my cousins, you know, shout out to the cousins that came to the crib and got her. They got her. And, uh, they went. And I got in touch with the cousin that told me was going. And, um, 
you know, then some of them was gonna be ready in twenty five minutes and I called back and just it went left. By the time it went left, my mother called me and my mother told me it wasn't really no need for me to show because she was on her way home. And technically she was gonna be home three hours later. But um if you went, shout out to you. If you did not go, um, I guess you could say don't worry about it because we ran late. Hopefully next year. Um, if I do decide to do a birthday party for her, or do a birthday dinner, or be a host of a birthday dinner, hopefully everything technically will be fine. Like, hopefully, if she's not driving by next year, hopefully I can find a dependable person to go get her. And, um, hopefully, um, I can have a head count, and hopefully... You know, whatever the reason why people didn't show up, hopefully, um, I could tell them earlier. You know, because it was like the end of May. It was the, probably like two weeks, two weeks before June. I called people and told people, and then I called on June the 1st. So, um, that's probably another reason why they didn't show. And then probably some of y'all had some plans, who knows. Um, I don't think my mother is mad with y'all, but if y'all want to find out if she's mad with y'all, y'all go call her on her cell phone or the house phone, and, uh, you can ask her. Um, what else happened? My uncle came, um, and of course every time he comes, it's, uh, uh, you, you can best believe he's not just coming for, you know, you can best believe he's not just coming to be coming, he's coming for a reason. So, of course, y'all know my mother and him, my mother and him and Jamil, they can't get along. So, but that's a whole nother issue. Um, they can't get along, but he came, I, I believe he came because of, he made the promise to my grandmother that he was going to come. And he wanted to, you know, pretty much prove her wrong. But during the trip, while he was here, you know, um. He found out about my mother and my cousin, how they can't get along still, and he, oh, shout out to him for paying, uh, the minimum balance on the cable bill, and also shout out to him for giving everybody money, except for me, so next time you, the next time you come down here, you might want to make sure you have enough money for everybody, um, he came and left, uh, what else? What else had went down? Um, I realized that I have lost more respect for family members. I'm not going to say it on this vlog, but there are some people that I have lost respect for that, uh, like, I truly lost respect for them. Um, if you want to know if that's you, maybe one day I will tell you if it's you, or if you ask me, maybe you get your answer. So, because this is not, my YouTube is not about us losing people, so, yeah. Um, yeah, so, it is now 3 or 3 in the morning. I gotta wake my mama up in a few minutes, so I might as well stay up. Um, but the big log I was looking at is, uh, big log 126, it, we like, we like one twenty six. It's called East. Um, by the user Rochelle Clark. I do watch her, Latoya, forever, of course. Um, who else do I watch? Kevin Edwards Jr. Um. I watch, sometimes I watch the Daily Davidsons. Shout out to Drake for putting me on. Um, who else? Mm, uh, uh oh. Superwoman. Sayana. Mystic. You know, just to name a couple people. So, yeah. So, what I'm about to go do. I just want to 
wanted to at least have my voice on some video. I, uh, I'm going to highlight y'all in a couple hours, right? Right, when the sunlight comes.